thank you for the opportunity to talk about building research capacity and capability among nurses and midwives in a local English hospital, a reflection on the 70s, 70s senior nurse research leader program. My name is Enrique Castro Sanchez and I'm a lecturer in adult nursing at City University London. Obviously, before I start speaking, I would like to present my declaration of interest and the talk is my opinion and not of any of my employees of affiliated organizations. The 70 s 70 Senior Nurse and Midwife Research Leader Programme was launched in 2019 and is a National Institute for Health Research funded programme lasting three years and funding 70 individuals for two days a week of their time. The purpose of the programme is to increase research capacity and capability of nurses and midwives within the National Health Service, as research leaders recognising that there is a need to strengthen the research voice and influence of nurses and midwives in health and social care, that it is necessary to enhance connections between the NHS nurses and midwives, and there is a need to promote a research active culture among nursing and midwifery staff. Some of the uh, domains of the contribution that I've had towards the goals of the 70 at 70 program are collected here, and this is uh, somehow methodology of case studies. So thinking about the contribution to the health service, I've collaborated with 70 at 70 fellows in the London network to develop and implement clinical pathways. I've uh, provided input on senior management committees, and I'm an expert in national guidelines committees. And I support the development and implementation of local research strategy at the local trust, supporting the lead nurse for research and deputy director for, um, of nursing. Thinking about the leading of development of research capacity and capability in the local organization, I've acted as a research coach, offering one-to-one -one support and advice and dropping services, developing as well a writing course that's been widely used and promoted for nurses and other healthcare professionals to enhance and increase their skills, writing grants and papers. I've provided research mentorship to clinical nurses interested in a research career, and I've been part of the working group on training and career pathway for research delivery staff. As an ambassador to the 70 of 70 initiative nationally and internationally, I've co-led the development of a webinar for chief nurses on the program. So they are aware of the potential and the members uh, part of the 70 of 70. I've disseminated the initiative via several editorials uh, for nursing journals, publicizing the program, the impact and the opportunities afforded by, by this particular program. And I've spoken at on nursing leadership at a variety of international conferences. Thinking about growth activities, um, I've co-supervised a variety of research funding applicants, serving as mentor as well as supervisor, and, and I'm a co-investigator on a project evaluating the economic impact of uh, the 70 or 70 initiative and the uh, planned application of the development of political skills in this cohort. Finally, as an example of a, an international remit, I've supported the PhD program at Shifa Altamir University in Pakistan. And you may be wondering why is it necessary to have an international remit for the 70 or 70 activities and thinking about the role outline of the program that um, uh, suggest that 70 or 70 leaders need to be proactive champions for developing nursing and midwife research capacity and capability and actively link with the wider NHR work and part of this wider NHR work is international. So research among nurses, midwives and non-medical uh, professionals receives international attention and uh, research as well is collaborative. So any of the key societal issues which are relevant to nursing research are not UK exclusive as we've uh, highlighted in this editorial. So it will be also um, uh, important to remember that this year 2020 and 2021 have been highlighted by the Nursing Now campaign with a global and highly political and highly um, influential activity for nurses around the world. So uh, as part of this influential and global perspective, I've uh, being quite fortunate to develop international nursing research capacity and capability 
together with colleagues in, as I mentioned, Shifa Altamir Milad University in Islamabad in Pakistan. And the reason for that collaboration is because there is a dramatic shortage of nurses in Pakistan, as you may know. But uh, interestingly, there are many applicants, but not enough places for them. And the reason why there are not enough places is because they cannot open schools of nursing at the speed required, because there are not, uh, there are insufficient lecturers. But lecturers need a PhD and there are hardly any PhD programs. So creating and supporting the creation of PhD programs incidentally will influence the number of nurses in the country. So uh, it, was, it was excellent to be able to have the opportunity to, to support uh, the PhD nursing program in the university as part of my remit as 70 as 70. Finally, Thinking about integrating public and patient involvement and, and producing outputs among the many public patient involvement uh, opportunities and work that I've led. I've delivered uh, workshops on health literacy as well as um, supporting patient representatives and the contribution and the outputs that I've generated since 2019 to date include uh, 44 peer review publications, a book and three book chapters, 30 conference presentations and eight public engagement activities, which have been obviously supported by the time that I've been able to devote to research afforded by the 70 and 70 program. So to sum up on this brief case study, summarizing some of the work related to the 70 and 70 senior nurse research leader program in the UK, Ongoing leadership of this program has already contributed to individual and organizational improvements, as I hope that you've seen in this brief presentation. And that, however, the evaluation of the long term impact and sustainability of the program is still essential and will be essential once the program is completed in a few months' time. My name is Enrique Castro Sanchez, and uh, it was a pleasure to be with you. And uh, I look forward to catch up with you at some point in the future. Very happy to take your questions uh, in the platform.